Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm with my buddy John. We're here to review the Empty Man. Not to be confused with Mr. Empty Pants for Married with Children. Yeah. Or uh, the comic that uh, uh, Peg wrote. Oh, yeah. Um, Al. Yeah, they're like, well, they were going to call it, they were going to be more optimistic to say the half full man, but they didn't do that. No, the Empty Man, and it's really, I mean, because I heard, I first heard about this through. Well, I mean, it had word of mouth. I think it played in theaters and failed because... Well, well I just read a trivia on it. What happened yeah. is one of the last, or maybe the last release of Fox. Oh, okay, before during, Disney? When, during the Disney acquisition. Oh, okay. So they just dumped it in the theater. They didn't put any advertising oh. or anything into it. So that's why it bombed. They didn't oh, okay. support it. No. It doesn't sound like you support on a DVD release either, yeah. so there's no support for the movie, which is a shame because how good it is. It's damn good. I mean, it's really. It's based I mean, on a comic book by Boom Studios. I don't know how much it has to do with the comic book, but you know, it's at least inspired by the comic book yeah. series. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's really blown away. I mean, you know, I mean, it starts off well. The first twenty minutes, I think. Well, I mean, it goes in so many different directions. The first 20 minutes, it, it, they're in, like, Tibet. Right. And some guy falls in this chasm and experiences this bizarre skeletal being because a whole bunch of weird stuff happens. And then, like, 20, 25 minutes into it, then they have the begin, then the opening title. Like, Mandy had the opening right. title, like, 20, 25 minutes in the movie. And then it kind of shifts a little bit. Yeah, to, uh, like, uh, a different time back in, like, the States or whatever and stuff right. like that. We're involving... Uh, Mysterious empty man with like an urban legend. You said you blow in the bottle and then you say you think about him and then like three days later Well, he on messed with your head. Speaking. Yeah on the bridge. It has to be on the bridge Jason tried it, but he stood know. up. He farted across the bottle. I know I know that's my fault Well, I mean I went I spoke be on the bridge, but I, I watched the library I found it was unabridged and I screwed <laughs> up <laughs> See, I, see my, that doesn't even make my dad That's perfect I, though Oh, that's great. And my dad said, yeah, that, that's not laughing. I said, that don't make any sense. And my dad would say, well, I mean, when I talk, my dad would say, say a joke. I said, you know, that don't make any sense. I said, when, is, when have you made any sense? <laughs> well, I like it. It kind yeah. of changes subgenres yeah. a little bit. It starts off as one. It goes other, kind of like Cold in July, which is why they had such trouble getting it made. Cold in July does yeah. that. Another movie like that is Kill List. It kind of changes a little bit. It starts off as one type of subgenre and goes into another. I kind of like when they do that because yeah. you're, you're expecting one thing and they kind of uh, all of a sudden they kind of shift over, but it all makes sense in the end. Oh, it was. I was really happy. With, I mean, uh, I was really captivated by the first 25 minutes. I mean, it wasn't like the whole movie's fascinating and, and right. riveting and stuff like that. I wasn't. I was almost as riveted in the, in the rest of the movie as it was in the first 20 minutes. Not quite in my, I mean, but it was, you know, but it was still, it was still brilliant. Right. I give it a 10 out of 10. It's really, yeah, really good. Uh, it's got a lot of good reviews and stuff. For like yeah, it's a and good stuff movie. IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes and such. Yeah. But yeah, it's a shame that, you know, Fox just didn't care. Yeah. So at that point, I think they're, you know, they're like, well, we're probably all going to be an unemployed here. So yeah. Well, they said at the end of the movie, they said this movie helped uh, with 1,300 jobs or something like that. At the very end of the movie, they had like those little statements and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. They had at the very end of the movie or something like that, and like hundreds of hours of work or something. Yep. Which is cool. I mean, I really liked it. Yeah, I think they did uh, a really good job. I mean, I just, it's like, I don't want to give away a ton of stuff in there. You know what I mean? Especially this, because like, you know, it's kind of it's a little so bit bizarre. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't as bizarre. I mean, it's it was not way as bizarre as Hellbender, but I mean, it's 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 really good. It's yeah, filmed it's well, and you know, or any of those yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's. I mean, I like the way the look of the film and stuff like that. They really did another good job, and like, um, I will say something like Bill Maher made the observation, like saying movies are getting longer and longer during the best. Pictures, I mean, this was when, I think it was, uh, God, Farewell to the King was nominated for Best Picture. And it's so, like, the shortest film was, like, an hour for you, and all the other ones were, like, over two hours. This is, like, two hours and 17 minutes, and usually, 
at the time, or back in like the 80s and stuff like that, it's unheard of for a movie to be two yeah, hours. Yeah. Yeah, you know, if you think about it, most of that stuff was just a cash grab. Yeah, that's true. So they're just going to, they don't really care. They're just going to make something quick and yeah. it's going to be short. And yeah. As long as they're showing their blood and tits, that's yeah. all they cared about. Well, except for like the George Romero movies like right. uh, Dawn of the Dead. I don't know if Martin was two hours long. I don't remember. Yeah. Night yeah, Rider was two hours. Yeah. You know, you, when you have a series and there's oh, yeah. you know, like the Halloween became yeah. a cash grab after a while and yeah. Nightmare but, and all that stuff. But I mean, the fr that, what was yeah, that the one that we... Stuff from. Yeah. I think the one in 2018 was two hours, I think. Might have been. It might have been. Not the Halloween killed like an hour 45 or something like that. <laughs> I mean, but it was brilliant. I really liked it. Uh, it was yeah. a great movie. Um, so I guess that's it for me and my buddy John. So until next time, everybody, please take care of my legion. <laughs>